Welcome to the Tough Decisions Network for Entrepreneurs. I'm Dan Hanford, and my wife, Danae, and I interview successful people sharing stories behind tough decisions that they've had to make along their journey as an entrepreneur. Before we get started, let's hear from one of our sponsors. Have you ever thought about investing in real estate, but find yourself so busy that you don't have time for it? Do you have FOMO, which is the fear of missing out? At HanfordCapital.com, we help investors with passive real estate investments that project better returns than traditional investment vehicles such as the stock market. If you'd like to find out more about our passive real estate investments, visit HanfordCapital.com. That's H-A-N-D-F-O-R-D Capital.com. We will jump on a call with you to discuss your investment goals and to see if our investments are a good fit for you. This advertisement is not to be construed as an offer or recommendation to buy or sell a security. Visit HanfordCapital.com. On the podcast with us today is a very special guest. This is our Friday episode where we take select topics from our businesses. And one of the things we also wanted to do is start to do some interviews with our own team. So some people that work for us in our businesses, and Danae's not with us today. It's just going to be me, and we're going to be interviewing one of our team members. His name is Jason Earwood. Welcome to the podcast, Jason. Hello. Well, I wanted to get us started because I want the listeners to kind of know a little bit about you. So talk to us a little bit about you know where you're from and a little bit about your background. Well, I'm Jason, and uh, I'm from Alabama. If you couldn't tell from the accent. Yeah. I've lived in several different states, and I'm just happy to be here in South Carolina working for Dan. And what are some of the places that you've worked prior to coming to work for me? Worked for Lowe's, Dollar General, Academy Sports, and Amazon. The good old Amazon, right? Did you like working for Amazon? It was fun. It was fun. You'll leave it at that. Okay. I know the backstory. So, (laughs) Well, what do you do for me? What's your role in, in the organization? I manage your online businesses. You manage the online businesses. And and what does that entail? Customer service, answering the phone calls, placing orders for them, shipping them out, and watching the stocks at Amazon, stock levels. And how long have you been working for me? Almost two years. Almost two years. So not quite, right? Like Maybe like a year and a half or a year and three quarters, somewhere around in there. Yeah, in three quarters. Yeah. So a little bit about Jason. He is my wife's cousin, and they moved to the area where we have our businesses about uh, probably three years ago now, right? About three years ago. And he first was working at Amazon here locally, and then you know we decided to bring him on and come work for us full time. And it's one of those decisions that was it's kind of it was kind of hard in the beginning because I know we kind of went back and forth on this. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, because, you know, he's considered family, right? Because he's my wife's cousin. And I know sometimes on the podcast, we talk about not hiring family. So what was it that made us decide to hire you? I don't know. What (laughs) made you decide that? (laughs) You know, put the question back on me. I see. I think the the biggest thing was, is that we knew that you had the skill set that was going to be what we were looking for in the position. And we knew that, you know, we... I think you and I basically sat down. We basically said, listen, we're family. We don't want something to come between us, but I also have to, at the end of the day, take care of my businesses. And so if if the business is not going in the direction that I want it to go, then sometimes we have to make hard decisions. And when you hire family, you have to take that emotional component out of it and just look at the numbers a lot of times. And I think you and I sat down, we came up with a little gentleman's agreement beforehand, didn't we? We did. Do you remember what that agreement was? I do. Business is business. Family is family. If you decide to get rid of me, you'll give me a 30-day notice. Unless I do something really stupid, then it's just, there you go. And the same thing back, right? That's right. I told you I'd give you two years, and then I could go from there. Yeah. Yep. So that's the thing is, is it's, it's all about having the conversation up front, I think, because a lot of times you get into relationships and, and business like that, and the party sometimes feels stuck. And you never really want to feel stuck, you know, and I think being able to have that open and honest conversation up front really allowed us to be able to set the stage and the tone early on so that we both knew, hey, this is what we're going to do moving forward. You have a problem. You give me 30 days. I have a problem. You give me 30 days or vice versa or whatever it is. And I think, you know, for the most part, that's that's worked out really well. I mean, we, neither one of us has really gotten to the point where we, you know, really just wanted to give each other 30 days or not. At least I haven't. Have you? No. Okay. 
Well, I just just curious. They you know, I put him on the spot here now. So you're looking for another job? No. Okay. All right. I'm secure there. So that's why I do these interviews. I try to figure out where my staff are in their you're headspace. Looking for another employee. <laughs> well, maybe after this phone call, I might. You know. <laughs> I'm just messing. Obviously, you've been through the transition of you know us having a warehouse here in, in Columbia, South Carolina. And because you, you're not part of the medical practices at all. So you're all, like you said, you're, you're managing the online businesses. You're taking the phone calls, doing the day-to-day, doing the customer service, you know, do shipping out very small number of items. Most of it's being shipped off from where now? Amazon. And where did we originally start? It all starts overseas. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it all starts overseas. And originally, we were taking them and bringing them to the warehouse. We had a 2,500 square foot warehouse. And we really just used that as like a cross docking location, really, for the most part, right? Correct. And then we basically took the warehouse and started to, you know, look at the numbers again and saying, hey, is it really financially feasible for us to continue this warehouse and all the expenses that go along with it? You know, the electricity, the rent on the actual property, and then also, you know, additional things like repairs and insurance and taxes because it was a triple net lease. So there's all these additional expenses. And once we started to look at those numbers and then realizing that, hey, we could just ship everything directly to Amazon and have them be our distribution network and they can get things out even faster than you. They can. And I think that was one of the biggest things in the, the, from the deciding factor from the online businesses was, hey, you know, we can streamline things a little bit, reduce our, our overall footprint by reducing our expenses and, and be able to have faster shipping to the customers because we can now distribute these straight to the Amazon warehouses all across the country, these products that we're selling. And these products are now, you know, in the hands of customers a lot sooner and they're costing us a lot less to do it too. That's right. So the last piece of the puzzle is to get rid of you. Who's going to get your coffee? (laughs) Okay. 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 You're making a point there. So I think the biggest thing I want you to kind of, you know, talk about is what is it like? What is it like working for me? And you can be honest about it. I think you'd be lonely in an office by yourself. You think I'd be lonely in an office by myself? Yes. I always say I would get a lot more done, though. I think you'd want somebody in an office just so you'd have somebody to talk to when you're ready to talk to them. (laughs) When I'm ready to talk to them. Yes. (laughs) Plus, when, when the mail guy comes in or we get shipments yes. and stuff like that, it's it's always nice to have somebody else. So what he's referring to is that we have an executive office that we have probably, I think, right, right around about twelve to 1,500 square feet, somewhere around in there, off of, uh, off of I-20 and uh, Bush River Road in Columbia, South Carolina. And we have three offices in here, a conference room and a little middle quarter, you know, meeting area. And then we also have like a waiting room that we actually converted into our, our studio for doing some videos for, for the online businesses, but also for, you know, our new group called the Multifamily Investor Nation Group. And also for just some of the practice videos that we're doing too, for some of the educational stuff at the practice. And of course, a little place for the secretary, which we don't have a secretary. It's really most of the time, it's just you and me up here, isn't it? It is. And most of the action is only with UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Yep. And uh, it's kind of nice. It's kind of quiet. The tenants that are, that are beside us in this executive office are usually pretty low-key and quiet. And you know, even sometimes they'll, they'll help us with some shipments, even though they might not like it, right? That's right. Well, uh, I'm glad that you're here. Is there anything you wanted to kind of contribute or say or anything like that about, about anything before we wrap it up? I just think it's really fun doing what I'm doing. You do? I do. Why do you like working for me? Because I learn something new every day. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? It is. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jason, for taking some time and uh, and being here on, on the podcast with us today. I know I'm not paying you any extra for this. You know that, right? Okay. <laughs> He's like, not right now, but you might. <laughs> True. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Next week, I'm not really sure what the topic is going to be, but I guarantee you it will be good. It will be fun. And until then, have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you for listening to the Tough Decisions Network. Be sure to visit toughdecisions.net to gain access to show notes for this episode and to join our free weekly entrepreneur email where we will send you news about the latest technology for your business inspiring quotes, and the latest books for entrepreneurs. That's toughdecisions.net.